Hey, it's Justin Kadoy, DJ business coach and idea sharer. And in this video, I'm showing how I customize this Pro X case to fit my TouchMix 8. Dive in and, and take a look at what I was able to do. I took this Pro X case, it fits the, the panel rack mount, whatever you call this, uh, the piece that's not only for the TouchMix 8, but for the TouchMix 16. Uh, which, you know, it's a seven space uh, piece of hardware. And since this is a seven space uh, case, it fits it perfectly. Now, what it didn't come with was vertical space um, for what I was, what I installed in here. So the actual amount of space was actually perfectly uh, two rack spaces. So I had some spare 2U rack rail that uh, I had to, to install myself, wasn't too difficult. And what you see in the front is the Audio-Technica System 10 uh, wireless system. So that is one transmitter. Next to the Audio-Technica uh, wireless mic system, I have a wireless in-ear monitoring system that I use for my wireless speaker setup. And right above that is probably the coolest part of this whole thing. It's the custom panel. And what the panel essentially does is it emulates what is in the rear of this case. The rear has, uh, of course, a headphone jack. Uh, it's got your right and left master outs, and then it's got the four auxiliary outputs. Now in this one, I only have three of the four aux outputs, and that's because the wireless uh, speaker system is permanently uh, assigned to auxiliary one. So I have two, three, and four open, to send to a videographer or maybe another wired speaker somewhere else or maybe I've got someone performing at one of my gigs and they need their own monitor speaker so that's you know we've got that having a panel like this is really great because for me one it puts all of the uh, connections in the front of the unit I've also I've always kind of felt that uh, if you're constantly connecting and disconnecting to the connectors that are on the mixer itself, I mean, eventually it's gotta be some wear and tear, right? I mean, I'm not necessarily doing this every day or multiple times a day, but these one, two, three, four, five, six cables um, have been put in here and pretty much stay where they need to go. Now, when you look on top of the inputs to the touch mix, uh, I have my uh, channels one and two assigned um, as my main right and left ends and that's usually what's coming in from my DJ mixer or my DJ controller and then the two microphone channels are assigned to channels five and six. I actually ended up using a different type of cable um, that I, I knew it would have never thought to use uh, and what's really cool about this cable you can see how much uh, I guess thinner it is compared to a standard XLR cable. This is the type of cable that, uh, if you're familiar with a stage snake, I always kind of thought they just took a you know a bunch of these type of XLR cables and that's what you'd see inside. But in actuality, uh, it's a much smaller uh, diameter cable and that's how you're able to put so many, especially a stage snake that might be 20 to 30 channels. You can imagine if you had uh, 20 or 30 channels and, and cables like this, that would be ridiculously large, um, but I never would have thought to, to use this cable, so that was great. And so now I would always request this this type of cable, and I'll put that information in, in the comments below. Now one of the really cool things I kind of got lucky on is I was able to find a really short power strip that I was able to mount right underneath this panel. There's like this perfect little spot for it that not only does it fit, but it gives me enough clearance to plug everything in and, and you know, and, and not like hit the bottom of the case. And with that power strip, I customize it by uh, putting a power con connection on it. And it's just the, the perfect little setup and uh, I just really love bringing this thing out. So that's a overview of this case and how I customized it and did it with the whole custom panel. I'm super happy with how this turned out. Hope you enjoyed this video. If uh, you found this helpful, please uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions on how I did this. I'm gonna put links to all the different areas and the different companies that, that helped me out put this together. So where I got the case, where I did the, uh, the panel, I'll put that all in the description uh, so you can check all that out. Once again, I'm DJ Justin Kanoya and I will see you next time online.